Today I'm teaching you a simple hack to stop negative thinking, not just for a moment, but all day long. I'm sure you've tried things before and they worked for a little while, but then the day wore on and next thing you knew you were in a really crappy headspace. Today I'm gonna to teach you my simple hack to stop that. And I have a free gift to help you stop negative thoughts all day long so that when you leave this video, you'll still stay motivated. So stay till the end so you can get that free gift. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. How are you not subscribing? You know you wanna hang with me. Uh, every week I put out new content and new video and that way you'll be the first uh, to know about it. So please hit the like button, please subscribe and uh, let's get to it. So the hack I'm gonna teach you today is called intention chunking. Yeah, it's a kind of a, <laughs> I made it up, intention chunking. So basically what you wanna do is get ahead of the momentum, right? You have to, if you wanna stop negative thinking, the best thing to do isn't to wait until you've been thinking negative all day and then try to stop it. That's like trying to stop a, you know, a bus that's been rolling down a hill at you. You want to stop it as early as possible. And I have another video on uh, momentum and how to really stay ahead of the momentum. <clears throat> so I'm going to link to that below the video. But I, this intention chunking is really all about starting your day in a positive frame and setting intention. And you set it though all day long because with every new chunk of activity that you have, because whenever you're entering into something, you have different intentions. I, if I wake up in the morning and uh, I see my man and maybe I want, want to have some sex, I have a certain intention, don't I? I have an intention. I have something I want to have happen. But when I go to make breakfast, I have a different intention. I have a different thing I want to have happen. So, that's what I want you to think about. And here's what's amazing. We plan everything in our lives. You plan events, you plan, uh, you have a calendar, you plan your to-do stuff, you plan, plan, plan. You schedule, you budget, you do all these things. But for some reason, we don't plan our feelings. And really, that's the most important thing you should be planning. I, you could plan the most perfect wedding day. You could plan everything and everything could go off without a hitch. But if you are in a bad mood, if you feel, oh, what are people thinking? If you're self-conscious, if you're worried, if you're crazy, your day's gonna suck. It doesn't matter that everything went well. So this idea of planning your feelings is what I want you to get. That's what intention chunking is. You are planning what you're gonna feel. And the reason this works so well is because of something I've talked about before called your reticular activating system or your RAS for short, which is a part of your brain that is a link between your conscious and your subconscious mind. And I will link again below to a video I have on the RAS specifically. But let me just say this really quickly, that basically when you think something consciously, it sends it, the RAS sends that as an order or an instruction to your subconscious to look for that thing. And the example I always use is if you've ever gotten a car, you've suddenly noticed that kind of car everywhere. It's because consciously you thought about this kind of car and then your subconscious started looking for it and, and it seemed like they were producing this car all of a sudden, <laughs> millions of them, that you almost never saw before. That's your RAS at work. So when you're thinking something negative, obviously, right? Neg more negative stuff kind of comes to that because you start to look, your subconscious is looking for the negative. But a wonderful thing happens when you're thinking of something that you do want, that you, when you're setting intention, when you're thinking of where you do want to go, your subconscious looks for that too. So really what we're doing is programming a part of your brain. This is chemistry. This isn't just, this is science. It's not, it's not some woo kind of thing. This is the real deal. So when you're setting intention, so you put your feet on the floor in the morning and you set intention. How do I wanna, you know, what kind of day do I wanna have? That's the first thing I do. What kind of day do I want? You know, I'm feeling grateful for this day. I'm gonna have a really great day with a lot of enthusiasm and uh, a lot of service maybe. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Then I'm going in the shower. I have a different intention now. My intention is to be really mindful in the shower, not to let my mind drift and go off into bad places. Uh, or to what I have to do. 
my intention is just to be in the shower and fully relax, to really feel every part of my body as I wash it. Have you ever been in the shower and you forgot if you washed your face or put conditioner in your hair, you can remember? It's because you're on autopilot and autopilot is your nemesis. It is your the kryptonite to your Superman. You need to get in your moments to really be in charge because the autopilot will get you into negative thinking and you'll lose any positive momentum and get into really negative momentum. We don't want that. So then I get out of the shower and now I have a new intention. Maybe I'm going to make breakfast. Oh, my intention is to uh, eat something healthy and to really listen to my body and to see what I need. On my drive to work, my intention has changed again. Um, maybe I'm going to look for, I do this a lot, I look for a, a new store I haven't seen before. Have you ever noticed that? I'll drive up the same street every day <laughs> coming to my job, to my work, to my office here, and I'll see something new I haven't seen before. It cracks me up. Uh, so because I set that intention or I'm setting an intention to get there safely, not to drive too fast, not, <laughs> I get a little fast behind the wheel not to be impatient, you know, to be patient. And again, set it for what you do want, not what you don't want. So setting it for patience, for looking for new things. Once I get to the office, I, I have a new intention. I'm setting an intention to be really uh, of service today, to really bring enthusiasm and excitement. I'm setting an intention to be tr super productive. Uh, before I go into maybe a meeting I'm having with someone, uh, or a group, let's say. I'm, I, I'll set an intention that everyone in this meeting will get so much out of it. I'm gonna be such a value add today. It's my plan, you can do it as a plan too, or a goal, or my intention, is that everyone will get along really well, that we'll all be there for the highest good, that I'm gonna have incredible patience and say amazing things that are really gonna help people move the needle. Whatever you want. Do you see how this is doing? This is intention chunking. And you are keeping with the momentum, you are being thoughtful, and you're being mindful. It's really a way to be mindful. And uh, if you're not sure about mindfulness, I have a great video, um, an, a separate one on um, two hacks for remembering to be mindful if you aren't sure about that. So I'll also link to that below the video. But all, because, uh, and really, can you have yourself a little playlist with all these videos and really go through them and really get this intention chunking down because it's so very important. All, le and let me ask this, what do you do to be mindful usually? Like, how do you help yourself get off of autopilot? Maybe you do something when you eat or you pray or, I don't know, you meditate during the day. I'd love to hear that if you want to give me a little shout out below the video in the comments. I would love to hear, I always read the comments. Uh, and they can really help other people when you say what you do. I get so many ideas when I read comments below videos of uh, other things I could do or other ideas. So it would be great if you did that. So go for it. Uh, <laughs> and so I really want you to, again, think about this planning your feelings just like you plan anything else. You're, you're setting them out. You are not out of control when it comes to your feelings. You absolutely have control. But I will tell you this, you only have control right in the moment in that moment. It's called the powerful now, the here and now, because it's the only place you have power. It's the only place you have control. If you're regretting the past or something that's happened, you don't have any control. You don't have any power there. That's why you feel hopeless and helpless. That's why all the negativity starts. If you start thinking about your future and worrying and concerned, and what if I do this and if I do this and I do this and you're boo, 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 you have no control. <laughs> it doesn't mean you can't plan things, but you can't say for sure how it's gonna turn out. We both know that. So you, you start to get anxious or depressed about the future or worried. This is, again, you don't have power of control, so you start to feel hopeless and helpless once again, and you feel over or overwhelmed. You have to come back to the now because that is where all of your power is. So that's it for today. I'm Dr. Abby Medcalf. I help people think differently so they can have truly different relationships filled with love, ease, and joy. And today, right below the video, you can link to your free gift which is a free, uh, it's a guided visualization and it's short so you can listen to it all at any time you want, day or night, to help you stop negative thoughts. It's very specific for this. And if you wanna learn more, you can come on over to the website, abbymedcalf.com, also linked below here. Uh, and you could check out my podcast, which is huge, uh, called Relationships Made Easy. You can, there's always a corresponding blog right there on the website. You can get my book. It's 
all there. All things Abby are right on the website, abbymedcalf.com. And if you got anything out of this today, please, please share. Share me. Be generous. Come on. Put it out there. That's it. Take care and have an amazing, positive week.